Um, in terms of the security challenges confronting us, I briefed Council on the activities of the Islamic State West Africa province, which is operating in conjunction with affiliates of other uh, larger terror groups across the globe, especially in the greater uh, Sahara as well as the Sahel. Again, the activities of the Boko Haram terrorists and the gradual uh, mutation of these uh, terrorist groups into other entities, as well as their modes of operating and um, telltale signs which security agencies have been uh, on the lookout for. Again, I also uh, uh, briefed counsel on the menace of drug trafficking in uh, Nigeria. Like I said the last time I briefed, um, Nigeria is gradually uh, changing, its, its status is gradually changing from the status of uh, the center for drugs to a drug producing uh, center. And this is something the security agencies are dealing with in collaboration with uh, paramilitary organizations. I also spoke on the issue of continued uh, communal clashes, especially farmer herder clashes, and uh, certain flashpoints like uh, Benue, uh, Cross River, Plateau, and Taraba states, and efforts underway to uh, bring this situation under control. Now, the spectrum of security challenges across the nation also was something I spoke about, the fallout of uh, security issues, which has resulted in the need for us to change our strategy and to improve on the existing strategy. Of course, I briefed Council on the efforts of the federal government to deal with these challenges based on the advice given to Mr. President. Now, um, one of these issues is the need to address uh, manpower deficiency, inadequacy in equipment and technology challenges. Mr. President has already approved the uh, continued recruitment into the armed forces as well as the police to deal with this uh, gap in manpower so that it can afford the security agencies uh, the uh, an, an enabling uh, environment to be able to rotate troops in theater. This is very important, but because this is a mid to long term solution, the president has also directed increased um, uh, equipment uh, procurement and basically we're talking about equipment that will serve as force multipliers so that where there are great deficiencies in manpower the force multipliers will take care of uh, that aspect. Again uh, based on my recommendation to Mr. President he has approved the establishment of a national uh, center for the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons in Nigeria. This center will be domiciled in the Office of the National Security Advisor. It will be akin to the Counter-Terrorist Center, which is also domiciled in the Office of the National Security Advisor, and also the Cyber Security Center, which is also domiciled in the National uh, Security Advisor's Office. This uh, center will provide the strategic framework for containing the proliferation of small arms and light weapons, especially those coming from across our borders within the sub-region and also those coming in through the maritime environment. 
So this center will also work in compliance with already laid down international standards and uh, the, the, the framework. Uh, as you know already, there has been in existence a moratorium, an ECOWAS moratorium on the control of small arms and light weapons. So the Office of the National Security Advisor will deal with not just the control of the inflow of these dangerous weapons and propellants, but it will also work on mopping up and um, disposing of those already in use. Of course, there will be a law eventually to um, put in line whatever uh, aspects need to be looked at. The other um, aspects we've also looked at in trying to address our security challenges is that um, we have also, Mr. President has directed improved, that there be improved synergy and collaboration within the security agencies. When I say the security agencies, I'm talking of the armed forces of Nigeria on the one hand, and the intelligence agencies on the other hand, while we uh, simultaneously work with the paramilitary organizations. Again, there has been uh, the issue of border control. Border security agencies have been working on uh, the border security drills which have been in place since August of two, 2019. And of course, we've seen significant improvements in controlling uh, illicit flows across our borders, either through the land borders or the maritime borders. The land borders basically are, you know, uh, located uh, uh, within four geopolitical zones. You have the northwest, you have the southwest, you have the northeast, and of course the south-south. Uh, zones. So these are the areas, but of course those other zones that are landlocked are also being monitored through the use of uh, technology. Again, the Office of the National Security Advisor is the office that is regulating the use of uh, unmanned aerial vehicles, uh, better known as drones, to deal with uh, the problem of insecurity, across the vast landscape in which these uh, bandits, kidnappers, and terrorists operate. And like I told you earlier, because of manpower deficiency, we have to employ technology. But all in all, Mr. President has embarked on um, measures for acquiring additional equipment. Apart from the traditional arms and ammunition, there's also the uh, technological aspect that Mr. President has been looking at. So basically this is what I briefed Council on and I want to reassure you that um, a lot is being done in conjunction with other entities of, of government. To <music>